here because I've got really grave concerns about the future of the NHS, not only the conditions facing the junior doctors, but the creeping privatisation of the NHS and the end of a universal service free at the point of need. If there is a campaign of misleading information, I think it comes from Jeremy Hunt. I think it's just another one of many of the strategies to weaken the NHS. I read recently that 37% of the new contracts have gone to private institutions. So there's a creeping privatisation. And, and this is just another element. I think it will, it will damage the junior doctor's morale, it will damage the service, it will damage the future of of, of medicine in Britain, really. 92 years have passed since I was born in the barbarous year of 1923 in the coal mining community of Barnsley. Back then, existence was a hard scrabble battle for many Britons because we lived in a primitive era when there was no NHS and good health care was a privilege that only the rich could afford. Since I learned too early in my days that life for those who can't access a doctor or medicine due to financial circumstances can be a brief and sad affair. Back then, my dad worked as a miner and dug coal six days a week for a pittance. We lived in deplorable slums and ramshackle working class neighborhoods. It was in one of those ghastly warrens that my eldest sister Marion contacted TB. And because we were poor, and lived in unsanitary conditions without the ability to pay for a doctor or a hospital. Her disease became a death sentence. She was taken to our local workhouse infirmary, where on an October day, much like today, 85 years ago, my sister died in painful circumstances at the age of 10. This new health service will be organized on a national scale as a public responsibility. The cost of the service will be met from rates, taxes, and national insurance, and so everyone will pay for it. Hmm, thought there was a catch in it. And everyone will benefit from it. When you're ill, you won't have to pay for treatment. The NHS is our proudest creation as a party. Health service free at the point of use as a human right for all. It's something very important that we've got to hang on to that principle. But look at what they're doing on the NHS. The Health and Social Care Act allows 49% of all NHS services to be put out to the private sector. Underfunding of commissioning groups means that some medicines in some areas are rationed Underfunding of our hospitals mean they run on a deficit, paid for either by cuts, by making staff redundant, selling property or further privatisation. What I want to see is the renationalisation of the NHS. That is my top priority as a, a, as a doctor. And I would just love to see Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister. So I very much want to see a future Labour government reversing those appalling things and once again you know having government as if people mattered the more problems you create in an underfunded nhs the more those that can afford it will go to private medicine so over a period of time the nhs stops being the service of universal provision and first call for all of us Instead, it becomes a service of last resort for those that can't afford to go private. That's what's happened in some other countries. That is the situation that applies in the United States. Let's make sure that never 
happens here, we fund, invest, value, end the internal market in the NHS and instead invest in the good health of our people through a universal service free at the point of use for all time. Our best creation, our finest creation, something we will defend till the end of our times, okay? <laughs> Hey, thanks a lot, old man. It's all yours, whenever you want it, with your own choice of doctor. And that goes for the whole family. The scheme is comprehensive. It's not only to help you when you're ill, but to help to keep you well. And, of course, the younger generation will stand to gain the biggest benefits of all. 